Hi, dear friends. This is James from Southern California. Today, I want to share a problem for algebra and geometry. Okay, see the question here in equation uh, square root of uh, sum of uh, m square and uh, uh, 2025 equal to n. Uh, here m and n are positive integers less than 100. Then find m and n. Yeah, so 2025 is just the number of next year. So next will come the year of 2025. Okay, uh, for the equation, we square both sides. We'll get uh, m square plus 2025 equal to n square. Yeah, so this we, we can call, we, oh, by the way, so 2025, 2025 equal to, 45 square. And if we do a prime factorization, even we can get uh, uh, 45 is 9 times 5. 9 is 3 times 3. So if we do a prime factorization, we can get uh, 3 power of 4 times 5 square. Yeah, then we can keep going right this as uh, yeah, for example, I mean this. We can write, rewrite it as m square plus 45 square. Yeah, so if we take this as an equation, uh, we can say uh, for, for right triangle, yeah, for example, if this side is 45, the length. This is m, then the hypotenuse is n. So we call m n uh, 45. Uh, uh, let, me, let me type it here. Yeah, so if so, we call them uh, Python green table. Yeah, anyway, let's keep going, solve this uh, equation. Uh, we move m square to left side, have n square minus m square equal to 45 square. Uh, do a factorize, n plus m, n minus m equal to 45 square. Uh, or just call it two two five. Yeah, two two five. Uh, as uh, both m and n are positive integers, so we can find the, the sum of n and m and the difference of n and m. They are factor of two two five. Yeah, then let's go to find the uh, fact pair for 2025. Uh, come on. Yeah, if we make a list, we can find. Uh, yeah, anyway, so let me change the corner. How about that? Black. So we can find one, two, zero, two, five. Then three. Let me do it quickly. Uh, let me say oh. here. Three time seven hundred. Oh, 675. Sorry for my bad handwriting. Then five time. 
time two two five. Fifteen time one three five. Twenty five time eighty one. Uh, twenty seven time seventy five. The last forty five time forty five. Sorry. I don't sorry. Okay. Yeah, we require both M and N are less than hundred. Then it means the sum of M and N is suppose less than two hundred. So then for here it's not the case, not the case, not the case, not the case, because uh, the sum greater than two hundred, right? Then M and N can be but let me use uh, like uh, red corner, red corner, red corner. Yeah. That's the three cases uh, it can happen to find uh, M and N. Yeah. Yeah, take this let me just call this case one, case two, case three. So let's take a uh, uh, case one as example. So we have n plus m equal to 135 and n minus m equal to 15. Then it's not hard to get. Uh, yeah, let me have a uh, then it's not hard to get n equal to the sum of 135 plus 15 divided by 2. That means that it's 75. Yeah, let me make sure. Yes. Yeah. Then m equal to difference of 135, uh, 135 minus 15, then it's 60. Yeah. That's for case one. Then similar thing if for case two, we can go to get n equal to, let me check, turn it out, 53 m equal to 28. Then for case three, we'll get n equal to 51, m equal to 24. Okay, that's the solution for this problem. Thank you for watching.